December 2005, GOVA, the first Galileo satellite, is launched from Kazakhstan. This satellite highlights the efforts of Europe to set up its own satellite navigation system. A few weeks later, from its orbit 23,000 kilometers high, GOVA broadcasts its first signals. Galileo is now a reality in space. For two years now, these signals have been received all around the globe in particular here at the Research and Technology Center of the European Space Agency in the Netherlands. This laboratory is checking the units aboard GOVA that provide the signals and at the same time the receivers on the ground. The complete chain of the system is thus being tested and the specialists have been able to confirm that the mission is a success. This is an essential result for the next step in the program, the launch of GOVB the second experimental satellite. GOVB is a, is a very important step forward in the initiative of Europe towards the final Galileo system. With GOVB, we will have the, the best uh, navigation satellite ever in space in, uh, in the middle of the next year, 2008. Uh, this satellite will carry the latest signals which have been agreed with the United States just a few months ago but it will also carry two different types of onboard technology which will provide for the best timing synchronization which we have experienced so far. In the test rooms of the European Space Agency, GOVB is almost ready for its launch. This second Galileo satellite carries an atomic clock, the most accurate clock ever launched into space. It will make a critical contribution to the performance of the Galileo system. Europe, with the help of the European Space Agency and the European Commission, is moving ahead on satellite navigation and we are really at the edge of the state of the art of the technology on satellite navigation. With the technologies we have developed, we have full confidence that the Galileo system can be deployed on time, meeting the expectations of users and meeting also a very high level of, of performance and, and, and range of services as per the current definition of Galileo. After GOVB, Galileo's validation in orbit will be completed by the launch of four satellites. These satellites are being built all over Europe. Here are some elements at the contractors in Toulouse. When complete, Galileo will be a constellation of 30 satellites supported by a network of ground stations, creating a global network. With this joint project, the European Commission and the European Space Agency plan a civil system providing guidance and assistance no matter where. An advantage of Galileo is that it is a civil system, guaranteeing continuity of access and signal quality, unlike the American GPS system, which is under military control. Nevertheless, Galileo and GPS will be compatible and interoperable, increasing the reliability of both systems. While waiting for Galileo, Europe already has a positioning system in place, EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay System. This is a network of ground stations which improves and retransmits GPS signals via geostationary satellites. It's accurate to within two meters. Originally designed to improve air traffic safety, EGNOS is accessible to all. EGNOS, GEOVE. The foundations of the Galileo system are solid, demonstrating that Europe can make Galileo and knows how to achieve it.